Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun. It is all about my pantry makeover and a little bit of pantry organization. So stay tuned. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's the time to do that because in the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna finally have my kitchen reveal. I'm so excited. And you know Christmas is around the corner and you don't wanna miss that. Now most of you have noticed I have been MIA for a little while and I have to, this was so adorable. I'm in the store working and one of my girls takes a phone call. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and I hear her talking and she comes to tell me that Denise, from Texas called the store to find out if I was okay and if I was going to do more videos which just warmed my heart and she told the girl she is a breath of fresh air on a hot Texas day so Denise thank you I appreciate that okay guys let's head into the pantry and take a look Let's start out with the cabinetry in this pantry. These are the old cabinets from my kitchen. We decided to repurpose them and to paint them. This is how you save money on a DIY project. Now, if you don't have cabinets that you can repurpose, they put them on Facebook Marketplace all the time. So think about paint, it's transforming. Let me talk about how I chose the color. Here's my best advice when picking paint. Pick several colors that you think are close to what you want. Put them all together and take a very close look at them. It's much easier to pick the correct color. Don't pick just one color, hold it up and think that's it. Do a color comparison. The cabinet color that I chose is a Sherwin-Williams color called Coastal Plain. My wall color, one of my favorites I use all the time, is Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore. Now. If you want to know more about how I choose paint, some of my favorite colors, I'll link to two different videos, both Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore, and you can take a look. One of the things that I have seen trending and coming back is painting your baseboards and your trim the same color as either your wall, or in this case, my cabinets. And I loved the way it turned out. Another way I saved money, I did not replace the cabinet hardware. It was a dark bronze. I got the rub and buff out in antique gold and took care of that for pennies on the dollar. Let's talk about the countertops. I chose a butcher block countertop. Scott purchased them from Home Depot, installed them himself. This is a great choice if you have a prepping pantry. I don't know if you've heard of that before, um, but it's basically where you do your prepping and you don't make all of the mess out in the kitchen. And we have really enjoyed that. Let's talk about the ceiling. I love the way it turned out. It's an inexpensive shiplap board, but let me tell you why we went with that. So this house has popcorn ceiling, which, ooh, I hate, but they painted over the popcorn. So if you've ever dealt with that, if you've painted over popcorn, you can hardly get it off. So Scott came up with the idea of let's go ahead and just cover it with the inexpensive shiplap boards. It turned out wonderful and really adds more character to the pantry. The next thing I want to show you is the beautiful pantry shelves. Scott built these. I'm just going to be saying his name over and over because he did so much in here. I'm so proud of him. We measured them out to the right sizes for the different things I want to put on the shelves. But my very favorite thing is you'll notice each shelf is lit up. So easy to do. It's called strip lighting. I will put a link in the description of this video, but they really just add, I, I'm a light bug. I love light, but it really makes everything shine and look beautiful. Another thing he did was an automatic door light switch. What that is, it's a little plug that goes in and out when you open the door. These lights automatically come on. When we close the pantry doors, the lights automatically come off. It's amazing. When you're designing your home, one of the things that makes it to me so unique and so different and so you 
is go shopping for vintage items, for antique items. It makes your home uniquely yours. So a pantry's no exception. So I found old jars to house different things in, an old crock. Not everything is new, but what makes that design beautiful is infiltrating new with the old. And this little jar is, I just got this last week. We have a new member of our family named Sugar, and this houses her food. Another favorite thing is my light fixture. It's a semi-flush light fixture with a gold patina that really pairs well with the hardware. Another instance of incorporating old and new, above my refrigerator, I found an old basket at an antique store and so I mounted it on the wall along with an old pitcher that I've had forever and then just a little rattan wrap jar. To the right of the refrigerator, I have two floating glass prints. These look old, but they're not. I found them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of this video. To the left of my Keurig, I found two vintage kitchen utensils that I put on the wall along with a sweet little adorable picture of a house. To the right of my Keurig, I have a little jar that holds a little stevia and then next to it a vintage salt shaker. Then I found this adorable print of sheep. I actually found that at Home Goods for $14.99. I was thrilled. And then an antique box that houses my tea. I asked Scott to make sure he would salvage the old shelves from our old kitchen because, because of course I want to have a place that I can add decorations. So I kept some of my very favorite kitchen books. I have a brass tray, a beautiful plant, a pestle and mortar that's new that's not vintage and then i do have a vintage crock so again mixing old and new makes it beautiful let's talk about the backsplash super easy to do uh, i chose the stone because it reminded me of my mother but i have a video just click here it shows you how i did it very easy to do and everything you need to purchase i'll add that to the description of the video as well but again you're adding layers of character and even in a small space, it makes it even more special. All right, let's talk about the window. I really wanted the light to come in, but it, this pantry's on the front of the house, so we need privacy. This is just a simple film that you, a little bit of water attaches the film and you can peel it right off and it looks beautiful from the inside and the outside. Again, link in the description. The curtain. This is Tivo fabric. It took me a long time to finally narrow in what I wanted in here, but I just wanted a little splash of color and pattern. And this is it. I wanna share with you a few things that I purchased to help with my pantry organization. Gotta be honest, I'm not always the most organized person, but here's a few things that really helped me. Everybody has a junk drawer. So this is the first time I've really organized my junk drawer a little bit better, but this is what made it so easy. These came um, all together, different sizes, and it made it so much easy, these little plastic containers, you can kind of move them around. But as you can see, I can put many different things in there and I can actually find it a lot better. This is my Keurig drawer, it was the perfect size. I want to show you this. I found some paper that instead of doing liner, I put this in here with Mod Podge just to add a little more fun and a little more character to the pantry. In the corner, I house some extra pantry items, but this is one really neat thing. This is just a Lazy Susan made of plastic, but helps you to see everything, especially if you've got a corner cabinet. These are just simple labels that I purchased off of Etsy. I thought they made every container look really beautiful. In this cabinet, I've got all my paper products and I purchased these shelves. It makes it so much easier to keep that organized. Well, thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to show you the kitchen reveal. It's gonna be super fun. I'll see you in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay well.